That guy does some serious damage, man, doesn't he? But so do we. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we generally play on the hardest settings. So, as you can see, I got my mini bike now. Yes, look at us. And uh, so, what I did was I just kind of rode around uh, during the night uh, hunting. Actually, I only found one deer, but we did get 20 pieces of meat, hitting birds' nests, that sort of thing. Killed a couple zeekers, and uh, went and got some water. Uh, in our jars and just kind of been riding around a little bit and I figured well I'm, I'm gonna go pick up this drop chest and I start, start to come down the road and look what I found so it looks like the drops now continue to strobe and excuse me and show the smoke even after they land which makes them exceedingly easier to find now <laughs> I mean almost to the point where there's really no point in turning drop markers off because as long as you know the general direction, there's no way you're going to miss that, you know. Uh, but anyway, since it's here, let's go ahead and see what's in there. And we'll move, uh, or rather remove, this uh, from our thing. And let's check it out. That is, like, really neat. Okay, so ammunition and uh, scrap leg armor. And then a little note. I'm going to start actually reading these. I don't know how many of them I'll actually do, but we might as well at least read them, so that way we have them as an option. Okay, this is better than what we're currently wearing, so let's uh, switch them over. And this is not, not worth selling, so we might as well scrap it. So a little bit of an armor upgrade and some more ammunition for us. Very good. So that gives us a 64. So we basically have three magazines worth-ish of um of 762 really good okay so let's just kind of keep driving around here i do want to i do want to go uh to this drop chest and get whatever i left behind there i can't remember what it was and we'll continue to also uh, look for critters and try and do some more hunting along the way so yeah that was one of our our early game uh platforms all right, we've got an Egger up here. Let's just see if we can get by him and without him chasing us all the way to the drop chest. It's just right up here, though, in this fork in the road anyway. So, so nice to have a mini bike. So now, pretty much, you know, we don't have to... Uh, we don't have to do the block thing anymore, we really don't, so, which means I don't have to carry them around, which means we have more inventory space for other things. Because now, you know, we just, uh, is there anything, yeah, we'll take all that stuff. Um, now we just jump on the bike, you know, if we need to get away. And pretty soon we're not even going to need to get away. Um, you know, once I can get some ammo production going, um, you know, we're just going to start shooting their ass. <laughs> well, shooting their head. Um, but anyway... It's a, it's, it's a game changer for sure, especially when you play, you know, on Nightmare Speed. So we have a lot more accessibility, a lot, lot, lot more things we can do now. I, I've noticed the game is, is kind of stuttery, though, especially on the, on the bike. Okay, so let's see. Let's scrap this. Since we have some more jars, we might as well fill those up, too. Where's the closest water? It's kind of back up that way. Oh, you know what? We did mark another drop up that way, too. So why don't we... And our quest is here. No, that's just the man-eater quest. Let's head towards that and uh, see if we can find it, too. Pretty rugged country through here. Maybe we'll luck out and you know, find a deer or a pig or something along the way. And look at that. There's a deer right there. Okay. We're still using our bow uh, for hunting for now. It's a little, little far. Okay, let's try this again. We want to get this guy because he's going to get us about 30 pieces of meat. 
Okay, let's just kind of watch where he goes. Looks like he's almost stuck. Or he doesn't quite know what the hell to do. <laughs> we do have a Zeker right next to him also. I don't think he's running anymore, is he? That's a long shot. Yeah, okay. Let's get a little closer. We don't want to get too close to him or he's just going to keep running, though. Oh, wow, what a shot. Look at that shot. He doesn't even know where the hell it came from. Okay. Um, let's sneak a little closer. We're probably going to aggro Skater Punk here, though. I don't want to lose that deer. Because if he gets out of our sight, especially in this this hilly area, who knows where in the hell he's going to go. All right, you know what? Let's let's lead this guy back out to the road and get him off our ass and then we'll come straight back this way again and hopefully we can we'll be able to find the buck. Okay. Is he still there? He should be. There's no reason for him not to be in this general area. I just want to spot him. I suspect what happens is when you get far enough away from them, they just despawn, which kind of sucks. I mean, I get it. You know, the game's trying to do that for performance reasons, but... You know what I wish that would do? I wish that it would, um... If you hit the animal, if you wound it, right? Then it stays in the game, or at least stays in the game longer, so you have a chance to track it and find it. But I was afraid that was going to happen. There wasn't much we could do. I suppose we could have killed him with our AK, but then, you know, we're expending ammo that we still need to save at this point for emergency situations. Look at this countryside, though. This is beautiful. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks so good. All right, well, so much for that, eh? I think we lost him. Okay, let's let's stop here for a minute and just kind of look around. Um, it you know it's not going to show us the smoke from a long ways. Oh, never mind. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Look at there it is right there. Oh man, that is so cool. Look at that. Ooh, wow, and compound bow schematic. Very nice. And meds and antibiotics. That's some good shit. Yes, it is. Um, let's get right here so we're not completely in the weeds. Okay, so is this better than what we're wearing? Nope, it's about the same. Um, compound bow, absolutely wonderful. We could make that. And um, when we get to the next level, which is very close, I'm going to take the first point in, um, what's it called? position and that will allow us to make a, a kim bench so that was actually a very timely find very timely find this uh we're just gonna scrap and you know well we could nah i don't think i'm gonna blow a repair kit on that i mean we'd make a little bit of bank but not a ton oh i found this blue axe um in a car i think so there's no point in continuing to carry that one around so cool yeah okay that was nice um, we got some medical stuff too so let's put that down there for oh shit moments and what do we need to make a compound bow is that something we can actually do right now no we need bow parts and i don't think we we, we can't get bow parts from a primitive bow so okay well at least you know when the time comes when we do start finding that stuff we'll, we'll know we can make it so that's great that is fan freaking tastic, man. Fan freaking tastic. Okay. So, water. I want to get some water uh, for our thing. Oh, I found a bookstore too, so that's going to be an episode. Probably not this episode. 
But uh, how much time do we have? Okay, we're doing okay on time. Why don't we... Why don't I go back to the base, drop all this stuff off, and then let's go actually do our, our tier one clear, and we'll we'll open up some more territory along the way, and you know continue hunting too along the way. So if we see a critter, we'll stop and get it. All right, guys, we're back. Um, as you can see, I now have my cement mixer, so we're uh, making concrete in preparation for Horde Night 14. When that comes around, we have our workbench, uh, which we just made some uh, torches there. And I don't think I'm going to take those with, well, yeah, you know what? Let's take them with us. We might we might need those uh, on the quest. So we're moving up in the world for sure. Um, and we will have our Kim bench once we hit the next level. I think before we set out uh, to do our quest, let's go ahead and sell to Trader Jim. I did find another uh, college jacket. So the one that I have on has a little better cold resist. This one has a little better heat, but we wouldn't use that in the heat anyways. We would use the duster so we're good to go on there the name's jenny but you can call me dr jen dr jen all right uh let me see your inventory please dr jen and we're gonna sell you this and we're gonna sell that and we're gonna sell those and that and that gives us 1200 coin um restock on day 10 so i think we've already seen your inventory yeah we have all right, guys, we are heading to the northeast. Um, way up here to do that quest. And we're going to uncover some territory along the way and hopefully do a little more hunting. And it's about time for me to cut my trees down, too, which is good because I'm I'm getting low on wood. But that's, a, that's an off-camera thing, of course. So let's go take a ride on the countryside. Take a ride in the countryside, I should say. Not afraid of you, biker. Ooh, look at all the cement in there. We might have to go in there.
All right, <clears throat> here we are. Man, that was some rugged terrain towards the end there. Okay, Dell's Cafe. Yeah. Let's uh let's do a little bit of preluding here. first oh look at that wow wowzers we might have to go back to uh using a club ladies and gentlemen damn that only has one less melee damage um than our sledge and our and it actually has m more power attack damage than the sled a sledge i said sled uh, no, wait, am I reading that bass backwards? It's the other way around. This has, this has better normal damage, but less power attack, which is to be expected. All right, you know what? We're going to use this because, um, I don't, I don't do a lot of power attack damage anyways, because of the fact that it, uh, uses so much stamina. So let's scrap that. And we're going to transition to, uh, Mr. Club here for a while. Um, that was a very nice find. And the rest of the stuff is pretty good too. In fact, oh, wow. Look at the armor upgrade. Uh, yeah, definitely better. So we'll take that. And this is a, it's a tiny upgrade, uh, because it's got 35 points, but it also has another mod slot too. So we'll take that. So these things we're probably just going to scrap. Nah, we might hang on to those and fix them up and sell them. And another AK too. Nice. It's even got more damage than our orange one. I keep misreading that, huh? <laughs> The one that you have selected is the one on the left, and the one in the parentheses is the one that your cursor is over. I've got to remember that. All right, let's do this for real. So we must clear all the zombies out of here. Nurse Nancy's going to jump, if we aggro her, she's going to jump up there and come around to get us. Um, so what we could do is just blast her with our blunder buses, I guess. I don't see any other nasties up here. If we can get over there and block that before she wakes up, which is going to be hard to do. Then we can maybe try and club her instead of using our blunderbuss ammo, but let's just see what happens here. Okay, so her AI doesn't see a path up here. We just need to go knock her in the brains then. Sweet. Hey, we got a point too, didn't we? Uh, we're going to put that point into Physician. So this gives us uh, medical healing items heal 25% more health over time, gain 40% more XP using bandages, first aid bandages, first aid kits and splints. And most importantly, we can craft chemistry stations and first aid bandages, bandages and plaster casts. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we, we dealt with her. 
so the thing is, is are we going to be able to drop down in here without getting insta-attacked? Oh shit, there's one right there. Okay, um, how do we deal with her now? I mean, we could just go kamikaze here and, and blast her with our blunders. Uh, the thing is, though, is that door over there open? All right. That worked out pretty good. Okay, so we have a cooking pot, trash can, uh, that's cement. I don't have a shovel with me. We have to remember to go back to that, that mill that's right by the base there and get all that cement out of there. That is a shitload of cement. Is this a, a working one or one we can take apart for some steel? I believe it's the latter. Got their attention, didn't we? Okay, I think we're relatively safe from anything coming in the other way. Um, let's just use that for XP, just because I wanna, I wanna, don't wanna take up the inventory space with it. We'll let them do their thing, and then we'll we'll blunder bust them when they're all the way in. Oh, <laughs> we got someone's attention on that side too. All right, let's uh, get this blocked. I'm digging that music, man. It really makes things a lot more intense. Okay, they've still got a little ways to go yet, so let's take this guy out first. Oh, we got a crawler down there, too. They don't seem to be able to crawl up on stuff anymore, I've noticed. Can we just repair this with wood? Or does it use a repair kit? It does just use wood. Awesome. Okay. All right. We're still good to go with these guys. We can't really hit him. All right. You know what? Let's do this. We're going to get ourselves cornered. Uh, where's my bow? That's not working very well. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Crawler is the least amount of threat. Let's just, let's deal with these guys, because they're, well, they still got a little ways to go. Alright, let's do this. Okay. I'm like, I feel like I'm <laughs> running around in circles and trying to figure out, well, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't really feel super panicked, though. I think we, you know, we got this. We got this. Man, did any of those hit? It sure didn't seem like it. That one did. Come on, yo. All right, since we're just dealing with yo now, let's club him. Save our ammo. <laughs> okay. Whew. 
Well, hey, that's the fat loot's room. What the hell? Let's go in there first because we might get some more ammo and other good stuff that we can use to clear out the rest of this place. Nice. Ooh, wow. A green sledge. See, now that's better than the purple club all the way around. Uh, well, not all the way around. More stamina cost. Um, this is this is definitely an upgrade, so we're going to switch those out. We're going to scrap that. Uh, we'll kick that stuff. I'm, You know what? I'm going to hang on to this for the moment. Um, but I might not. I might not ultimately keep it. We'll see. Because here again, the advantage of this guy is the fact that we can... Uh, it doesn't use as much stamina. Uh, okay. I'm not going to carry that around because... Um, and honestly, I don't think I'll carry the, that around either. Well, hold on a sec, though. We can probably make some blunderbuss ammo. Yeah, look at that. Okay, cool. That's what we need to be doing with that stuff. Anything else we don't need to carry around and take up inventory space? Um, well, here. Let's just keep looting. I mean, we do have the... Oh, nice. We do have the mini bike too, you know, so... There is that. have not found a toilet pistol yet in Alpha 19. Our current knife is better. Nice. I will always take a bandage. Okay, we want to start hanging on the blood bags because we have a chem bench now. And we will eventually be able to make the large uh, medical kits. C can we not even put a block in there at all? Okay, well, let's just do that then in case somebody tries to come around the corner. So it's shown a Zeke over that way. Really? Just a crawler? Okay. We'll take just a crawler. That's it. We did it. All right. Look at that little sneaky compartment right there. Beautiful. Probably don't need to do that anymore now that we've cleared it, but it's just a habit, you know? <laughs> There's a purse up there. Another bandage. Nice. We already looted that guy. This just goes around back to this room here. Yeah, we got somebody's attention outside. That sounds like Hawaii Five-O. Um, where are is rather are that guy does some serious damage, man, doesn't he? 
but so do we. Okay. Coffee? No coffee. How about some uh, yucca? Look at that. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. A little brass action there. We're going to scrap that for inventory s space saving purposes. Um, scrap a doodle and then scrap a doodle. And uh, scrap a doodle this because we already have one. We're not going to take the jar. We have plenty of jars. Oh, wow. They changed the cast registers. Those That looks cool. I like it. I like it. No room in queue. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it. I think we have completed this POI. What is in here? Oh, that just goes outside. Okay. So this is another uh, thing I can rent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest all of these couches and harvest this and probably the car just to get outside it for no other reason and uh, head on back. And so I will... Uh, meet you guys actually you know what we're not going to make it to the trader tonight of course not even close so we'll probably just start the next episode with going to the trader um they reset on day 10 too as uh by the way and we'll do the the turn in at that point and uh go from there so hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye